And to get enough protein, you basically need to eat enough calories to keep your weight up. It's difficult to design a diet where you wouldn't get enough protein. <clears throat> now, there are some differences in human digestion. The genetic differences in digestion between carnivores, omnivores, humans, and plant eaters are pretty striking. Carnivores have a short digestive tract to eliminate rapidly putrefying meat. The length is about 12 feet for a cat of human size. You can see by the picture that it's a very short, uncomplicated digestive tract. Omnivores also have a short digestive tract. This helps to eliminate foods devoid of fiber. Humans, however, need fiber in their diet like all plant eaters. And we have a long digestive tract to extract all the carbohydrates from starchy foods, length about 30 feet in humans. There are some other interesting differences in digestion. Um, about 90% of people who choke to death choke on meat, and that's because we have a narrow, non-stretchy esophagus. When we swallow things, our esophagus doesn't get broad. Now, you've seen dogs swallow big chunks of meat, and it, you're, I'm amazed that they don't choke, but they don't, because their esophagus is stretchy. Also, <laughs> it's real interesting that carnivores and omnivores, like dogs and bears, the stomach makes up 65% of their digestive capacity, whereas our stomach's only about a quarter of our digestive capacity. In other words, they can take in a lot more at one sitting than we can. And of course, as a predator, they need to do that. Predators can eat one time per day. A lot of people only feed their cats and dogs once per day. They like it more often, but that's enough. But humans eat many times per day. If you're familiar with children and how they like to eat, they pretty much like to eat frequently. 34 to 40% of body weight can be eaten by a carnivore in one meal. Uh, to compare that to a human, and I'll take volunteers for this meal, a 70 pound meal could consist of 566 hot dogs. Uh, any volunteers from the audience? No, please don't. Um, I don't know what the world's record is for eating hot dogs, but I have a feeling it's a lot less than 566. Um, but the difference is here, are you getting the idea that our digestion is different than a carnivore or an omnivore digestion all the way through, including the stomach acid? Our stomach acid and vegetarian stomach acid, plant eaters, is about as acidic as lemon juice, whereas carnivore and omnivore stomach acid is about as acidic as battery acid, a pH of 0.8 on the acid scale. Hydrochloric acid is 0.5. That's extremely strong. Um, roadkill is deadly for humans, but dogs and cats have powerful stomach acid to kill the germs. This is a big difference because if you imagine yourself to be some paleo hunter that actually manages to bonk some poor animal over the head and you manage to somehow chew your way through the hide, if you eat it raw, your stomach acid is not enough to kill the bacteria, and it's not enough to kill the parasites. And in fact, you're likely to die of food poisoning. So human digestion is not set up to eat meat. Of course, people have adapted to cook the meat. I'm going to talk about some problems with that a little later on. Life is different, too. Uh, carnivores and omnivores do not have the form of saliva that can... Um, pre-digest starches called alpha amylase tau. Humans and plant-eating animals have this amylase in their saliva, so we can pre-digest the starches. And the colon is quite different in humans and animals who eat no fiber. Uh, cats and dogs don't need fiber, but humans need fiber. The RDA for fiber is only 20 grams per day, and it's really not enough for healthy digestion. I suggest a 40 gram per day minimum for healthy digestion amount of fiber per day. However, even better, an optimal amount might be more like 60 grams of fiber per day. And that would entail a whole food plant diet to get that much fiber. The human 
large intestine is saculated. See those little bumps on it. And the intestine is designed to work with fiber. You really need a lot of fiber in there. The fiber is digested by our cohabiting bacteria and is turned into short chain fatty acids such as butyric acid. Butyric acid is the main energy source for the cells lining the inside of the large intestine. If they get starved for energy, they get very mad. Uh, it causes pain and difficulty with digestion. That is extremely common in people who don't get enough fiber. However, the uh, colons of the carnivores are the same size as the intestine. There's no large intestine there, and they're not saculated at all. Okay, we covered digestion, I think, pretty well. Um, I think, I hope, that I've convinced you that humans just aren't genetically adapted to digest things that aren't plants. Now, as far as butchering prey goes, in order to butcher prey, you would need to dig through the uh, hide. Uh, getting through uh, chicken's feathers or rabbit's fur or cow's hide or pig's hide, whatever. It's gonna be a, a tough call unless you have claws like the guy in the lower left there. But uh, most people aren't born with claws like that and they don't look too practical actually. But the sharp retractable claws along with the dagger-like canines are hallmarks of animals who are genetically adapted to butchering. 